Hey guys, how's it going? It's Danconi and welcome back to the Overwatch Transfer Roundup. So it's time for another Transfer Roundup. This one's going to be a little bit shorter than the others because thankfully we haven't got the amount of uh, goings on that we had last time because last time was the retirement special. Um, I think that's the best word for it. But we have a few bits and bobs here with two teams disbanding in this one. So that's not brilliant. But obviously with the, uh, the Season 2 of Open Division... There are some tier 3 movements as well. So, let's get going with this then. And first of all, we have the Irish DPS player Grasson. He is moving from Olympians to Angry Titans. Now, these are two teams that are currently competing in the Open Division in EU. The Open Division for EU hasn't actually started yet, or the part in which these two teams will be playing ain't their part anyway. Because both teams have competed in Trials of Contenders this year. But Angry Titans, as we know, are a bigger team in EU. They've been previous contenders winners. And actually, these two teams are related because Olympians is the academy team of Angry Titans, if you didn't know. So this is basically uh, Angry Titans prom promoting Grasson from Olympians to their main Angry Titans roster. And we will see how Angry Titans do in Season 2 of Open Division, where they will hope to get through in that top seed, I would imagine. But now it's time to move over to the Overwatch League with two changes in the Overwatch League. We start off at the Toronto Defiant where we see Feifei, or Fifi, the Toronto Defiant head coach. He is now left the Toronto Defiant and is retiring. So this leaves a bit of a hole at the Toronto Defiant. Currently at the Defiant, Lilbo, the coach who was there previously, is standing in as interim head coach. But I'm sure they are going to look for either a replacement or perhaps promote Lilbo depending on how the Toronto Defiant perform over the next few weeks. But again, this is a bit of a surprise. I don't know what the situation with it was with him retiring, but uh, we wish him all the best for the future, obviously. And then we have a movement at the Boston Uprising. If you watch the Boston Uprising video I posted uh, a couple of days ago, then you will know that Swimmer has left the Boston Uprising and is now unassigned. He wanted to step back from competitive Overwatch. This is, it, it's fine for Swimmer, that's what he wants to do, but for Boston Uprising, it is not brilliant. It does call into question league rules, because the rules at the start of this season were that at any time, a, a team, if they are competing, must have at least seven active players on their roster available for selection on a match day. And currently, Boston have six active players and one inactive player, where Axiom is currently uh, receiving medical treatment. So... That calls into question league rules, but I think that will be relaxed considering the times we are in. Uh, it's not going to be massively easy for teams to recruit, uh, especially at the Overwatch League level. And also with the current situation in the world, I'm sure the Overwatch League have got bigger things to worry about than the, Bos than the Boston Uprising not having the seven players that they were going on about at the start of the season. As long as they've got enough players to fill the roster, which currently they have, and hopefully for every Boston Uprising fan it stays that way because they are teetering on the edge right now. Um, uh, as long as it stays that way, I don't think we will see any reprimanding from the Overwatch League at this point. But obviously that's something to be mindful in the future. I expect Boston Uprising to make some moves when possible. But moving on from that, and we have a move in Europe. This is Freyu1600, the Italian support player. He was unassigned and now will be playing for the HSL Academy. Now I believe the HSL Academy is in an open division of eu so i wish them all the best in their campaign for season two of open division and we'll see what happens there then we have a movement in south america where we see aramis the uh support player from chile he was at war pigs and will now be retiring from overwatch and therefore no longer competing for war pigs and i'm sure they will be looking for a replacement in time but moving on and I am actually delighted at a little bit of news I get to give now. So, as I said, uh, EU Open Division is starting up. And that means we get to see some really crazy teams kind of just appear out of nowhere. But this is a team I've heard of before. Now, if we rewind all the way back to the end of last year, we had Breakable Barriers. And there, are, there were some crazy teams in there, crazy team names, and they were really, really good. But one that stood out to me in the EU division was Raspberry Racers. They did really well in that Breakable Barriers tournament. I can't remember whether it was week one or week two. 
But I think it maybe have been week one because I think British Hurricane stormed week two, or maybe it was the other way around. But um, Raspberry Racers will be competing in Open Division for EU under the same name. They now have a logo and they have a roster. So the Raspberry Racers will be fielding, fielding two managers. This will be Akarin from Great Britain and Pleb Plus from the Aland Islands. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I, that's not somewhere I've heard of before. But um, that's just what, I, what I'm going to say here. Then we have the support players. So this is the Finnish support player, Watery, and the Romanian support player, Sky Ripper. You may have heard of him from Clockwork Vendetta. More on Clockwork Vendetta a little bit later on. Also, we have the tank players. This is KSA from Saudi Arabia and Helv from Switzerland. And then we have the DPS player Shockwave, who I believe was at Montreal Rebellion, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but they obviously disbanded very recently. And to round out that roster, they are signing the Finnish DPS player Cloud from Nariki Esports. So, to get for the Raspberry Racers to be picking up a person from Nariki Esports, who are actually already in contenders, that's actually pretty good pedigree. So, this... Raspberry Racers squad looks good on paper and I have high hopes for them. I really hope that the Raspberry Racers can do well in open division and hopefully get into contenders because I'd love to say the name more. That's all I want to do. I just want to say Raspberry Racers more. So good luck to the Raspberry Racers in open division for EU. They are in the knockout stages and I wish them all the best. But moving on to South America and this is where obviously things go downhill because now we have two disbandments to talk about so the first is horus gaming in south america they were actually uh, a pretty big part of south american contenders so that's a, this is a surprise but the support player pardle is the only player to have found another home this will be at war pigs replacing the aramis uh, retirement that we were talking about earlier but ap from apart from him we are talking about everyone now being non-assigned, so this is Insanities, the coach, CGS, the manager, Steel Kiwi, the uh, su support from El Salvador, Razio, Darken, and Fasti, the Brazilian tank line, and the Argentinian DPS by Le Leviathan. He will also be joining the crew from Horus Gaming, who will be unassigned after Horus Gaming announced their disbandment this week. That it's sad news it is really sad news and there is more sad news to come now as we move to the eu because i said clockwork vendetta were a team that were going to come up and indeed they are but for all the wrong reasons so clockwork vendetta big team last year they um it, they were almost a team of one tricks if you saw what i mean they came out with this weird made torp comp and it was all over the place and they really stirred up things in EU, and at some point, sometimes the Clockwork Vendetta comp was actually used in Overwatch League. Didn't have a massive amount of success, but uh, you can see murmurs of it these days, actually, the Clockwork Vendetta comp. But Clockwork Vendetta have announced they are disbanding their roster. It has been tough times in the past few months for Clockwork Vendetta, especially since the turn of the year. They have had a high turnover of players. This squad that I'm about to announce is unassigned have is very different to what the clockwork vendetta squad did look like if uh, originally remember the remember engineer obviously who was a top player for clockwork vendetta but this is really sad because clockwork vendetta, vendetta was something different but they have had so much upheaval in the past few months that i'm not totally surprised by this and the results haven't been coming in for clockwork vendetta either although they have been getting better results than angry titans so but the, again, the, the citing the reason of the money is not in, in contenders. They cannot keep going. It's just not feasible for them to be able to keep going now. So, becoming unassigned after the disbandment of Clockwork Vendetta will be the analyst Scuffy from Greece. The coaches from Great Britain, Fields, and from Bulgaria, Itopata. The DPS players asking, goodness me, that guy can't catch a break. And Kazar plays from Saudi Arabia. Then we have the tank, Antigon from Saudi Arabia, the uh, support player from Great Britain, Chucky Milk, the support player, Sir Majid from Saudi Arabia, and the Swedish DPS player, Monk Mata, who I believe was one of the only surviving original members of Clockwork Vendetta. I might be wrong there. But uh, 
yeah, they are now all unassigned, and again, I was hyping up at the end of last year, asking, saying that some people, you know, it would be worth picking up into the Overwatch League, and that poor guy has not caught a break at all. Um, he he didn't he didn't work at Sky Foxes, and now he is now unassigned because Clock of Vendetta has also disbanded. Um, Boston Uprising. I'm gonna just gonna leave that there. So we are going to end this on two more movements. This is a new coach at Sheer Cold in the EU. This is LNID, the Chinese coach coming in for Sheer Cold. Sheer Cold have seen a lot of good results in EU coming up from Open Division Season 1. So we will see what they have to offer in the future. And then the Swedish tank player Kanasen will no longer be rolling out for Olympians. As we mentioned earlier, Olympians is the academy team of Angry Titans and he will no longer be assigned to an Overwatch contenders or open division team. And that is it for the transfer roundup for today. It's it's really sad to announce the to announce the disbandment of Clockwork Vendetta and Horus Gaming. It's not things we want to see, but I pray that Rasby Racers do well. That's all I say because I want to see some crazy crazy teams in in contenders and I think Raspberry Racers could be one of those teams but tomorrow we will be having our first part to the open division results for season two of open division 2020 we won't be looking at North America or all South America or Europe because they haven't come in yet but the other regions we will be looking at because they have got got all of their results in and I get to butcher some names again probably so that's brilliant but for now thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it give a like subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.